Chef Jim Hunt here in Steenhatchee. When it comes to crab claws, the stone crab claw is king. But right here in this knuckle part, there's a hidden little treasure. It's so good, you almost have to lay down to eat it. Now once you crack the claw, you take the claw meat out. Then you have that hidden little treasure right inside. And all you need is a butter knife. It takes a couple of minutes to get this meat out of the knuckles, but it's well worth your time. You just take this knuckle apart. You have to be careful. And there is that little treasure I was talking about. And now I have about three cups of crab meat here and you're going to need in addition to the crab meat some grated parmesan cheese, some cayenne pepper, some artichoke hearts that I've quartered and some mayonnaise. We're going to start with the mayonnaise. We're going to add the artichoke hearts that have been quartered. We're going to add the parmesan cheese and just a little touch of cayenne because I like it to have just a little bit of a bite. Now I'm going to mix this together. I'm going to kind of fold it a little bit because I don't want to break everything up and get it everything incorporated here. I've waited to put the crab meat in last because I want to just fold it in lightly because I'd like to keep the nice big chunks of the knuckle meat together. I've got my oven preheated at 350 degrees. I've got my oven safe dish and we're going to top it off with a little bit of shredded Parmesan cheese across the top. Three hundred and fifty degrees, twenty-five minutes, and your patience will be rewarded. And there you have it. I took this crusty French bread, I sliced it thin, put a little bit of olive oil on it and toasted it, and it's a great platform for this great dish. Man, this looks great. I'll take this one. This is one of my favorite recipes and I'm sure it'll be yours too. We'll see you next time on another Grilling and Chilling. Mmm, that's great.